okay, you know, like, all right, we're, we're going for another battle like we were last year. That's going to be important for this Newman team to go down and put some pressure on this LCA defense. Here we go. The Division Three semifinals are on their way. And at the two-year on, here is a return. Williams, and that is a host of Knights bringing Williams down. Yeah, his numbers are really good. And, again, that's on like half the games. I mean, he really hasn't played a full game so far this season. Uh, and so the numbers he's put up have been, have been pretty impressive. First down and 10 for Manning and company. Empty shotgun. Manning, there's a pressure on the outside. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag on the play. The best offenses like in the state. Yeah, I like and this matchup with defenses. Randall at the top. Manning, there's pressure again. He flips it underneath. I believe that was Kai Donaldson. Now about three for the Greenies. Manning, Hanning tough. Throws the outside. And it's caught by Randall. Randall was able to grab it, and there is big old number 87 in Knights territory. Randall Let me tell you. Plucked that ball right out of the air, and he threw that on a dime. That was as well covered as you can get. One of the get. top tight ends in the country is Will Randall. Coming off a two touchdown performance last week. Manning's going to have to escape pressure immediately. Throws across his body, and the pass is incomplete. But that's Manning, baby. Manning is going to find his favorite target, Randall, and just over the outreach hand, the Kiernan Nisset is going to punt the football, and that was almost blocked. That was very close. But LCA will call for the fair catch. And he's going to keep it himself. Is the quarterback. Breaks to the outside. Hunter brings him out of bounds. Oh, the good defensive ends. They, they won't get that get off, too. Good pocket, a throw across the middle, and that is a completion, a big completion over the middle of the field from Johnson to Alex Beard. Yeah, chunk play right there, too easy. Big play, and there is the trigger bug, Celestine. Celestine has the speed, and he is in. Second down for the Knights. They're going to hand off, big hole for Aragona, and that is going to be a touchdown for the Knights. You obviously are not going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You're going to have to start playing some games, Will and wherever works. they wanted to. And again, you know, Coach Nothnagel and his staff is going to have to make some adjustments defensively to figure out what they're going to do. They're going to try some trickery here on the return. That is Williams on the return. He is very explosive. And a big return for Williams. Williams gets brought up. You've been practicing. You heard me in the pregame interview with Coach. You got anything different we're going to see tonight? Say, so, yeah, we'll have a few bullets in our gun. And, and right there is one of them. Spark your offense a little bit. Don't they they weren't able to really use those plays, which actually helps them here. Manning. Impressive run, gets a first down and more, and Manning not only is a good runner, but he's a big man to bring down too. Manning's going to throw the curl, pass is incomplete. That's lineman in the state. Here comes the pressure again for Manning. He has to throw in a diving. Actually, the pass is incomplete. Yeah, but Sophomore, I think he, he looks already the part of a Division One defensive back. Manning finding Randall, high throw, but just the vertical. Just the length of Randall was able to reel that yeah, one in. The left for hash, and he threw that seven, eight yard out to the opposite numbers on a rope. Short I mean, for the Greenies. Here comes the pressure again. Man hangs tough, throws to the sideline, and that is another. Yep. Could be pass interference call. You said James for the Greenies for the second time. Manning, man, he is hanging tough. He's going to throw it out of the end zone. A whole lot to unwind on this drive, that's for sure. But Manning is back in the football game. Manning was thinking about passing. Manning makes a cut, and Manning gets the ball over the goal line for the touchdown. That was supposed to be a little Tim Tebow jump pass yeah. right there. It's exactly what it was supposed to be. LCA covered it up, and again, just showing the poise that Manning has in the in the in the uh, in the pocket. You know, he didn't force it. You know, he didn't force the play. Here we go. He's looking that to jump, jump in, and pass. they just held Randall up. They did a good job. They recognized it. He said, you know what? I can't get it to my buddy Will that I've been playing street ball with my whole life. I'm going to run it in and score. Huge answer for the Greenies right here. I mean, that is a huge, huge, aided by a couple penalties. But you know what? Take it the way you can get it. And they're going to do exactly that. Here is the extra point attempt to try to tie the football game up. And it is good. So, Coming off that short side of the field, there's a screen, the yeah. tunnel, uh-oh. Tunnel screen, yeah, and there he trouble. goes. That is Riggs. Riggs got a lot of speed, and there is Riggs down the sideline. The 20, still staying in bounds, and lunges for the end zone. They're going to call him out of bounds. At Going the to it. There is Johnson. Johnson 
making a couple of moves, trying to hit the perimeter, gets a block, and Johnson gets in the end zone. He gets there. Touchdown, Knights. But just beats him to the pylon to go up 14-7. And the offense was able to take advantage of it. Loose football. Manning able to dive right back, back on top of it, but that's by penalties. Manning, he's been doing a lot of running, still found, finds a way to get on his feet. And Manning was able to find, I believe, Chris Hunter on the right oh. sideline. LCA is going to run a lot, four or five wide. And there's the deep shot. He's got an open man, and they're able to connect. That is going to be six points and a touchdown for the Knights. This time was one play. A deep shot from Johnson to one. Yeah, I mean, nothing fancy, just vertical routes, just a busted coverage. Exactly what we talked about with Coach Stewart. He knew that those kind of things were going to have to eliminate him, and that's now two on all three drives. They've had a the big. Greenies, trying to get back in this football game. Mang throws a shot, passes in, complete with trying to hit Donaldson. And third down. This is a very important third down line. Is an understatement for Newman. Manning. He's going to have to bail and run. He throws on the run, and the pass is incomplete. What LCA is doing here with those two by two, but they're way far out. That's something that I'd like to see Newman do. Take your two by two. Side and on the far side. Good pocket, throw across the middle, and there is the speed on number 12. That's going to be another touchdown. It opens for space for the touchdown. It was just vertical switch. That's all they did was they widened out the two-by-two two set. The inside receiver went out. Here's the extra point of Tim, and this offense for LCA has been and Fitzgerald West from LCA. Newman's going to roll. Tries to find the tie end, Randall, and Randall was able to hold it in. Nope, the pass is incomplete. Coming at Hunter, full speed ahead. Man's going to throw to the left. Man's going to have to escape. There is a flag. Man's going to use his legs to the 40, to the 50. It goes out of bounds at the 45 yard line, but we'll check. That could be a game changing call, too. It could have been a first down for Newman. That was third and long. Randall trying to make a man miss. LCA has been pretty successful in their first down plays. Johnson's had really good pockets all game long, too. Johnson's going to use his feet. We'll get out of bounds. We'll get a stop defensively. Johnson play action. Johnson's going to scramble and finds his outlet in the backfield. And that is going to be. I think Newman recovered in the end zone. Let's see what the rule is. He fumbled it. It's a touchback. No, they're saying he was down on the one. I don't think he was down. Three I play. think that was Brianne LeBlanc out of the backfield. And LeBlanc. That ball was out. Johnson is going to hit the outside. And Johnson launches forward. And he launches for a touchdown for LC. Full-time specialists. And Priest able to knock through the pipe. So. Another negative first down play. Manning trying to do something with his legs. Now he's going to throw it last second. Finds Hunter across the first down mark. I think you're going to get a lineman downfield here. Yep. This explosive offense for Newman. Manning. He's going to throw it to the right. He finds Randall. Randall almost broke a tackle but just could not stay in bounds. If you get that chunk play, that's when you really start going. You start when you start moving fast. Johnson. Throwing on the run and finds Riggs. Riggs went out there and got that reception. And Randall have played a lot on defense when needed. And there is a deep shot again. A beautiful bomb has been thrown. And that is going to be another touchdown for number 13. What a night for Alex Beard. Another touchdown reception. Target Alex Beard. You bring the pressure. You bring the heat. Everybody's locked up. And it was a foot race. And LCA won that foot race. Against the Blue Gators last week in the quarterfinals. Well, he has another. They're going to run again with Zurich. And that most likely will be the last play of a first half. Hey, which offensively, too. Yep. And that big hole running the football. Aragona breaking tackles. And you see the physicality of the 175-pound 
running back long for LCA. Johnson kept that for a while. Now Johnson's going to improvise and run. He's still trying to improvise, doing his uh, Giant Manziel impersonation. He's going to just throw it up, and somehow it is, oh, it's dropped. Yeah, wow. But, yeah, but there is also yeah, a flag, a wild a, action. Yeah, it was, was a lot for anybody for that long running around. Johnson throws across the middle and finds another target, another reception for Darian Riggs for the score. Empty backfield. Again, it's just he's just making the tackle on the line of scrimmage. Manning. Passes tipped up in the air, that is intercepted. And that is the first actual turnover caused by the LCA defense. And who up? Senegal's going to throw the screen, that is incomplete. And there we go, Juan. We have a defensive stop, a defensive stand. And he's actually going to be a fake here and does not outrun Mr. Lewis. You know, to a tough E.D. White team, which we can't say enough about. But um, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna go through some valleys. Embarrassed sure. coming up in the near future. Was that saying what goes around comes around? I mean, and, and you don't want that reputation. No. You know, and and look, I tell you what. On the you high if you're a Newman. Williams with a uh, borderline out in front. On our friends, so. Yep. Um, but. Uh, he's he's an LSU guy, right. you know what I'm saying. His dad was an LSU guy. So, um, Bo said he said on the interview, he said, "Look, I, I get it. You know, I love Coach O, but you know, I love LSU more." Is basically what he said. And it's about I'm, I'm going to LSU because I love the school. A ton of money. Oh yes, like you know, twelve million a year or something ridiculous like that. From Oklahoma to LSU, potentially. Haven't got an official word, but the way it's been looking. Sharpest <laughs> tack in the drawer, but, I mean, to me that's a good move by him. I mean, just look at these two programs on the field alone. Right. So, I mean, But then LCA, let's start whole naming bunch. all them. Yeah, let's start naming them too, you know. This could, will be the last play of the Greenies season, and it could have been ended on a better note for LCA. It was a dominant matchup. And a dominant performance all game long by LCA as they make their march to Yulman Stand with the fireworks. There were a lot of fireworks tonight for LCA as they win convincingly 49 to 7. So it is still alive for number five in a row for the Knights.